if you're gonna snag anything, get the Monte Carlo. That's that's the one I thought everybody was gonna snag. I thought I'd never get it. Boom, there it is. Found it. of Hot Wheels TV. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Fast and Furious set. And I got to tell you, just like we did with the uh, satin and chrome set, I don't have one of the cars. Now, uh, you know, every once in a while I'm going to tell us, we'll send me something and um, I'll get a full set of something, but they didn't send me these and I've had to search them out just like you guys. And guess which one I don't have. Yep, you got it. The Grand National. Why? I don't know. It's a Grand National. If you're going to snag anything, get the Monte Carlo. That's that's the one I thought everybody was going to snag. I thought I'd never get it. Boom. There it is. Found that one in South Carolina when I was down there. So let's take a look at them. Uh, the n number one, of course, is the uh, Buick Grand National. All I got is a picture of it here for you. It's painted black metallic. It's got a lot of metallic in it. It makes it look like it's, you know, like a charcoal gray. It's got blacked out five spokes on it. Got a gray interior and very dark tinted windows. Now, uh, you know, it doesn't even look like a, a Grand National, like the other ones that were done. You know, uh, Grand Nationals came in black enamel. You know, not a lot of flake in them, no nothing. Black enamel. So, uh, but hey, to each his own. Whatever. I'll find one in a little while. But today, I wanted to bring you guys... All the other cars that uh, that you'll probably find, okay? Number two in the set, and uh, of course, I thought, you know, guys would be going crazy over this one too. This is the 95 Mazda RX-7, comes in white enamel. The tampo on the side has been found in, in two different uh, color variations. It says uh, HKS on the side in either a light blue or a dark blue. Now, I've got... Uh, pretty much one of each here and um, you can tell a little bit by by the picture a uh, the interior I can hardly see so I'm gonna say that it's uh, probably a very dark gray or a black because the windows are just tinted so much on this very very dark tint the wheels are uh, all small chrome five spokes and the base is black plastic the uh, Tampos on it, uh, like I said, are just uh, just the side. It's got the uh, HKS in the in the blue, either light or dark, and uh, it's got um, black and blue tampos uh, on the front fender behind the front wheel. The marker lights are done up. The front one is orange, and the back one is red. Number three is the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Ev Evolution. I was going to say Evo. Uh, but evolution and that is done in a pearl green metallic um, It's kind of a, an odd looking green um, So I, I really couldn't tell you what but it's a uh, it's got a lot of pearl to it And uh, it's actually a pretty cool color the tampos on it are uh, just on the side They're uh, pearl blue black and looks like a like a mint green in there also the wheels are all small chrome PR5s all the way around. The base is black plastic. Interior, again, um, has to be black uh, because the windows are very, very dark smoked also. Number four, and uh, definitely one of my favorites, uh, these 1970 Monte Carlo. My grandmother had one of these cars. That's kind of odd that people go bananas over these because this was, uh, you know, back in 70, it was my grandma's car. Nobody wanted to drive it. It was... Old lady's car. Not that she was old, because I'm probably her age now when she had it. So I'm not saying anything about being old. All right? But, hey, uh, I liked this movie. It was pretty cool. Um, tell you what, though, uh, you put a baseball through the back of my window, we're going to be doing a little bit more than uh, having a race around the, around the lot. You know what I mean? And I know you guys are saying, yeah, I hear you. Okay? Um, this is done up in a, um, a tan gloss enamel. Uh, the roof is done in silver. Got a little bit of uh, a dark gray primer spot on the side. I mean, there's, you know, black primered hood. Uh, no, it's actually a dark charcoal metallic painted hood. 
Um, the wheels are blacked out five spokes, big ones in the back, little ones in the front, and the interior is uh, black and the window is a very dark tinted blue. The base is chrome and that also is uh, the front bumper and the front grille along with the back bumper. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking car, even though, uh, like I said, my, my grandma had one, uh, but there were some, some really uh, fast ones back in the day. Of course, a lot of guys are doing them up now, uh, just like the guys on uh, the Street Outlaws, uh, that blue one, the Street Beast or whatever he calls it. It's pretty fast. You know, it's got like $2 billion in the motor, but hey. Uh, but they did come, some of them came 454 four speed, and uh, they, were, they were pretty quick. Number five is the Nissan 370Z. And that is done in gray metallic, sort of a candy gray, you want to call it. The wheels are blacked out 10 spokes with a chrome ring on them. Uh, they're both the same size all the way around. Um, the interior is black. Windows, again, very, very dark tinted. The hood is a darker gray metallic. It's definitely different from uh, the rest of the paint on the car. The tampos on this are, are pretty good. The headlights are done up. Uh, tail lights are not, but um, got a little bit on the sides. And the base is a black plastic base. Last but not least, another of my favorites. Of course, it's a Chevrolet and I'm a Chevy guy. But this is a beautiful 61 Chevy Impala done in a nice red enamel. Uh, totally different from the rest of these cars. I don't know uh, why they included it, but I'm glad they did. Uh, it is just a, a beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, red enamel has a silver and white stripe down the side, which is, you know, the, the molding on it. Uh, the interior is white. The window has got a light tint to it. The base is chrome, which is uh, includes the front grille and front bumper and the back bumper also. This thing uh, rides on chrome OH5s, big ones in the back, little ones in the front, and this is a really, really beautiful car. So there you go. We have the Fast and Furious set for 2019, um, all except for the Grand National. Why? I don't know, but hey, that's okay. I'll find one, and I'm sure you guys will too. So uh, until the next time, we meet right here at Hot Wheels TV. Thanks for watching. Please share our videos. Please be kind to one another. And hey, come on, guys. Leave some stuff for everybody else. Okay? Come on. And uh, you guys take care of yourself. We'll see you around. Bye-bye.